video, I'm talking to the very new experts, aspiring environmental experts who are either just from school or they have never, ever, ever registered and now they just want to start their career as environmental experts. I'll be talking to them today and I'll be taking them through what is required for you to first get certified by NEMA as an EIA EA expert. And that is to say as an environmental impact assessment and environmental audit expert. And the first thing that you need to note is that you must have cleared school because they will need your certificate and your degrees and your, all those certificates that you have gotten from school they must have they mu you must have them so the way we graduate and then we have to wait for a month before our certificates are out yeah please be patient make sure you have graduated you have your certificate the physical certificate with you because that one is going to be required the other thing that i want you to note is that it takes time before your certificate is out nema will go through your application they can reject it all they're going to accept you and l and uh, certify you as an expert and it, it takes time and i want to say if you did apply last year there has been an issue with the system because the whole of this process is done online and uh, the people who did that in uh, early last year until the right now today they have not gotten their certificate. There are people I helped and they have not yet gotten their certificate. So be super, super patient. But now the NEMA says that the system is back, that they have worked on the system. So I hope now things will start flowing as they used to. When I did apply about four years ago, it took about four months. It took about four months for me to be able to get certified from the day I registered or I applied for registration. So what will you require for you to be uh, certified or s have a certificate of registration with NEMA? One, the first thing that you need is your training certificate. Now, when I say training certificate, I mean either you have done your diploma or your degree, the degree certificate, or your, that qualification certificate that you have, either your degrees or your diploma certificate. That is the first thing that you need as you apply and you have these things in soft as you go on to application the other thing that you'll be required to have is evidence of training in eia and ea it's very important there must be evidence that you have been trained for this job and how do you show this you could have finished school and then you went back for a short course in environmental impact assessment and environmental audit or you did this comprehensively in school especially through with degrees you do it in school then you'll be required during our time i attached my transcripts to show that i had done environmental impact assessment and environmental audit course and i did good i did pass and that is how i was certified that was enough evidence to show that i have gone through the training for eia and ea sometimes you might be required to go for a short course uh, and of course you go for a short course in institutions that are accredited by nema to offer these trainings not there so you must look for schools or institutions that have been accredited by nema to offer the training not just doing any school and do your training and then you will find that NEMA is not going to accept that as evidence of training so if you have done it in school it's in your in your transcripts then you need to attach your transcripts as that evidence so the thing number two that we need is that evidence it could be a certificate of a short course training or it could be the transcripts transcripts done those two then of course they need to see your cv remember this is something that you're applying for so make sure you have your cv with you make sure it is comprehensive go online learn how to do a good cv it must be a good cv you, it's kind of you're asking for a job so make sure your cv is up to date make sure it's well well it has information that is relevant to the to the career just just make sure your cv is comprehensive actually they say quote unquote comprehensive curriculum vitae so make sure your curriculum vitae is comprehensive 
Make sure it's clean, it's nice, it's well written, it's presentable. It has variable information that is required for you if you are doing a job. That make sure to have a CV that you would use if you are looking for a job because this is what you're looking for. So a CV that is comprehensive, that is well written, that is just a nice CV. So that is the third thing that you need. And normally you will need your ID card if you have your identification card, which I believe you do. Make sure to have a copy that is well scanned. Make sure to also have passport sized photo of yourself because well, you're creating a portal, you're getting into the system. So make sure to have your pictures. And those are the things that you basically need if you are to be certified as an environmental impact assessment, environmental audit expert, associate expert. If you are trying to be an associate expert for the first day time, make sure to have those things. Now, the process is done online. It is. I must clarify that the process is done online you don't apply any physical form you don't take any physical form to any office you do it online on NEMA website you go to the NEMA website and that is where you apply for your certification so yes these documents that I have talked about make sure they are well prepared make sure they are well cleaned and then have them scanned and don't take photos with your phone that are really not good if your phone is not good quality download a scanner from your from your from your phone and scan those documents or take them to a cyber or somebody who can scan them very well clean documents that can be seen visible like presentable job and then scan those documents and have them in soft because we are going to be uploading them on the NEMA website once we create a portal and that is the video that I'll be creating next time so make sure to subscribe make sure to hit on the notification bell because that's the video that is coming up immediately after this one make sure to watch these two videos that I'm going to link up here and I'll see you in the next video where we shall be creating a portal and going on with the registration are we together and the only way you can make sure that that video is out is if you subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification and leave a comment down in the description box and i'll see you next time bye bye